with GRC Drum Kit Tuition. Learn to play the music you like while taking your playing to the next level for all ages and standards. GRC teach all aspects and all styles in our fully equipped Winchester studios. Tuition is also available for schools, colleges and universities. Give Glenn a call or visit grcpercussion.com. Glenn Clark from GRC Percussion, based in the UK, Hampshire, Winchester. Today's lesson is going to be looking at something called stick control, and it's one of the main elements of working towards becoming a better drummer. Stick control is exactly the same as when we work as an athlete to warm up before we enter competitions or before we just do our normal training sessions. Now, stick control is the element for the drummer which makes it more enjoyable to play the drums because you're not going to get tired and you're also going to get a better sound from your drum kit. What I'd like you to do is to take your drumstick, doesn't matter if you're a left or right handed drummer because it's all the same when it comes to stick control. Take your drumstick into your right hand between your thumb and your forefinger. Now push your thumb and forefingers backwards and forwards using the thumb and forefinger like a pivot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the other fingers in to help the stick move backwards and forwards but in a more forceful manner. As you can see, at the moment there is nothing to stop the stick from moving or to control the stick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move the stick into the back of the palm and use the back of your palm as a break. The back of the palm, flick, catch. We've got a nice, solid, controlled feel when we're striking. When we're doing this, it's very important to make sure we leave a gap between the thumb and the forefinger. The reason for this is because if I put my thumb and forefinger together and you watch my muscles, you'll notice that the muscles are tightening up. We don't want that because that's the way that we as drummers cause us to have cramp when we're playing and we don't want that. We want it to be a nice relaxed feel. So relax by opening that thumb and forefinger open to a slight gap. Back into the position of striking the stick into the back of the palm using the thumb and the forefinger as a pivot. Now, you do exactly the same with your left stick. It will work exactly the same manner. Okay, so you left hand drummers will find that that feels more natural than what it does when us right hand drummers do the same thing. But, in the end, it will all become the same in fill. Now, as you can see now, I'm striking one stick after each other. We bring that down onto the snare drum with the right stick first of all. You'll notice, as I strike the drum, the stick just comes back off the skin about 45 to 50 millimetres above the skin. That's what we're aiming at, or close to. And it stops dead. You'll also notice that sometimes it looks like I'm not actually striking the drum. That's because I'm controlling the stick above the drum with that spacing. Now we do the same with our left stick. Nice relaxed bill and catch that stick. Now if you alternate the sticks, which means one stick at a time, you will notice that we catch the sticks at the same position every time. when you carry on practicing this, it will become more natural when you actually start to play your first rhythms. Talking about rhythms, if I now move this onto a very basic rhythm, which we will move on to shortly on the A to Z of drums, but just to show you the stick control and how we keep the sticks to one position. So a very basic rhythm. I am counting the sticks above the high, the same position, and the snare drum which gives us a nice controlled feel. So when us as drummers play, we can enjoy our drumming more.
Thank you. That's our first lesson on stick control. Enjoy. Now, what you need to do is you need to visit grcpercussion.com, which is my tuition website, or visit percussiondownload.com, which you'll also find a link on grcpercussion.com, and you'll find the A to Z of Drums book, where you can download or you can purchase so it is actually posted to you shipping wise. Download is a much better option because you get the book for 50% less and you also do not pay any shipping. So please visit percussiondownload.com to follow up your aid of the drums. Thank you.